Let me tell you about David James. He's one of the guys with probably one of the biggest mouths on the coach when we're traveling anywhere. But if there's something being said and he, he doesn't agree with it, he can cut you down, bang, and then have the whole bus in stitches at you. And I've been the butt of that a few times, let me tell you. It's about time he kind of got his comeuppance. I mean, he's a guy who loves his art, he draws for fun, he thinks he knows everything about artists. So this is an opportunity, really, for me to kind of get under his skin a little bit. I want to get him in an environment where he's going to be able to talk a lot. Where can you do that? The best place is probably an art gallery, isn't it? Where they all go and talk about loads of different things. Like, you see a blank canvas up there and you say, what does that say to you? Oh, that guy's had a bad childhood, he's done this, he's done that, and I can really see that being represented in this piece of work. What are you talking about? How are you going to see that on a blank canvas like that? I don't know, but I'm sure Jamie might be able to give us an insight. It's time for him to talk. He knows how to do that. The art gallery we are using is in Manchester city centre. David is being taken there by his charity associate, Robert. He thinks he's going to meet a wealthy French artist called Francois Chavot to discuss the possibility of using art for one of his charities. Chavot is going to show Jamer his paintings. In reality, they were actually done by a bunch of five-year-olds. Will JMO see them for what they really are, or give it some of that art analysis waffle? James is playing Francois, and Natasha is playing Kath, Francois' obsessive fan. Chris. Oh, how do you, James? He's got the whole family with him. Francois. Hello. Hello, man. Very nice. Very well. Thank you for coming. Maybe I can show you around. Show me round. Okay. <laughs> Can I tell you your paint? Yes. What sort of painting? I have to get my phone out now, don't I? This is terrible now. We're talking about real art. I haven't got many on this phone, but... This is very nice. I think you should show David some of yours. What's your thing? <laughs> Sorry, are you Francois? Um, You're not. Yes. I am. Hello? I've, I've come up from London especially to see your exhibition. My name's Kath. Hello. Thank I you. absolutely love your work. That's great. It totally, totally changed my life. I was, sorry, were you in the middle of something? Yes. <laughs> what you paint? What, stuff like this? <laughs> was it in that sort of style or is it that? Yeah, which is, I think this style, is. I just do as I do. Okay. Picture. Oh. Is he getting his phone out again? <laughs> He's bringing the phone out again. It's a self-portrait. There's no feeling in it. But at the end of the day, it's what I saw and that's what I wanted to do. So I painted it. Okay, that's a nice picture. And, and yeah, um... the, the picture's a picture. And it's like satisfying need. And my need is personally is to do a picture. Yeah, but if you're hmm. doing it... No, but what I believe of Francoise's work is that we all come from the same okay. place. So he's trying to connect with... That place in everyone, whereas mm -hmm. say you, you're just coming from your mind. What's your name? Maybe I didn't have a childhood. <laughs> Maybe we just. Move on. Is that a joke? No, no, no. no. Oh. These are illustrations for. Again, so for how children. Did you choose the house? This painting was uh, composed from a child's painting, and I've seen this is a house of my childhood, but I think not. On a psychological level, see, this is interesting talking about okay. mind and feeling. People interpret houses on, on the way they are, you know, like small windows to find each other and big windows to find how we go and stuff like that. Did you learn that from a book or are you saying that from your heart, like that's what you feel? That's the way it happens. No. I suppose I have a very happy childhood. You have a strong family background. Don't you? I do, I do. I, so, I mean, I I'm so. the other side, I don't want to get on the okay. but you, your, your house dominates the picture, which suggests your home has big influences on your okay. life. Oh my <laughs> god, what are you talking about? You contradicted yourself because you said that you didn't have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Francoise, could I take a photo of you somewhere around here? Maybe Robert, you come in? David, okay. would you be able to get in a photo with him for me? Just, just a one-off? Yeah, yeah, of course you should. Okay, okay, could you just get closer together? <laughs> Alright, and can you smile? That's it. Lovely? Yeah, you I've finished. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> What have you done? Your coach just knocked that. I just caught you on camera. I'm sorry, I just saw you. I don't mean to be rude, but somebody just created that and you, you're acting like you don't care. Of course I care, yeah, of course. Shit. Francois, are you okay? Excuse me, you've really upset Francois here and I know that that isn't his work. That's somebody else's work. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Downstairs in the, in the, the cellar, just watching you, and you're talking absolute <laughs> about that. Five year old's done that. Do you know about what? So Do you know what? Seriously, oh, I can't believe her. I can't believe I was so nice. Jamo, we got you, mate. I'm sorry. You had me in stitches downstairs. Getting your phone out, showing people your artwork, talking about houses having an effect on someone's childhood. I tell you, you got murked. <laughs>